ask 10 questions, I take 10 shots. That's the format, get into it. So today we're talking about health and wellness, and we are both beacons of health and wellness. Health and fitness. We're talking about health and fitness Is today. it fitness or wellness? Health and fitness. It's very professional <laughs> who treat our bodies beautifully. Yes, my body's a temple. Ancient, <laughs> rotting, And everyone's allowed in 24-7. <laughs> Though Frida is a veterinary doctor, we are not advising anyone on their health today. Have you ever done a fad diet? I decided the best way to lose weight um, was to do the black coffee diet. Have you heard of that? Is that like with the grape juice? No. Basically, you have a banana in the morning, black coffee throughout the whole entire day, and you wake up and you do it again. Yeah, I did that. So you don't eat anything? Just Not coffee? One banana in I the mean, morning. It's full of antioxidants, but it's like... You oh, need I, like protein? I did. In the middle of one of my lectures, I was walking down the steps and hit the floor. I lost like 15 pounds. I bet. I lost 15 pounds. It was great. <laughs> it's not a fad diet because I don't think it's technically legal. Um, I've never done a fad diet. I've never, I've never needed to diet before. <laughs> gluten-free, that's a fad diet Fuck now. the gluten-free thing. Okay, and if you have celiac thing. disease, you will know it because it's very de debilitating. If you think you have gluten sensitivity, you're wrong. The medical journal that published that has since redacted that paper. There is no such thing as gluten sensitivity. It's a myth. You're fine. Eat some bread. If you feel like you're getting fat, just like eat a little less and work out. Like it's really simple. Also, no, if you make yourself throw up like once or twice, it's fine. So, so two nights ago, I might have had a little bit to drink and I might have ended up growing up a lot. And then yesterday and today, I was like, I'm so skinny. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I get why bulimics do it. Like that shit works. Dehydration <laughs> is like the most flattering thing on me. The shooter of the day, I should say. What is it? It's a modified... It's a Greyhound, essentially. So it's grapefruit juice, which is really good for you. It's full of antioxidants and vitamin C, health and fitness. But it's also full of gin and simple syrup, which are not good for you. Maryland has some draconian liquor laws. <laughs> I, I had to sit there for a second and I was like, draconian. Oh, what? Yeah. You're upset at an SAT word? She's got vocabulary. Okay. Sorry about <laughs> it. Do you have a workout regimen? If I could go to the gym at, every Sunday through Thursday, that means that Friday and Saturday, I get to uh, drink and do as many drugs as I want, which it, balance. It's like the Catholic approach to fitness. You're, you're more disciplined than I am. I don't work out for shit. I like, occasionally I go on a kick, which I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I did yoga like three times this week. I am now, I've decided a health and fitness guru. Um, we're going to take a moment while, while the next shots are being prepared uh, to shout out Charlemagne's uh, wing. This is stunning, beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, so it was a shocker to see her wearing it. So get into it. Silent G wigs. Hashtag Silent G wigs. I am shamelessly promoting my wig styling business. How do you feel about your weight? I'm gay. Uh-huh. I hate my weight. I hate everything. I hate how it looks. We all hate our bodies, right? I have, I have a lot of hangouts about weight. I've never been heavy, and it's because I have a lot of hangouts. It's be because I have a lot of hangouts about weight. I'll never allow myself. You know what I mean? Like if I start, if I start getting a little fluffy, I'm like, I'm gonna start myself for a week. No, I graduated high school at 260 pounds. Oh my goodness! I was a big but you're tall though. Like well, well, yeah, mm -hmm. proportionally. And then uh, I came out and I realized that that's not allowed. Throwing up after a night of drinking, always feel great. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for more diet and fitness tips. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think a lot of people hate my body. I'm um, okay with that. That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my entire penis is out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, try sitting next to it. <laughs> Put it in here. Whatever. That's what got me in trouble last night. Hi, Scott. Um, <laughs> Hi, Scott. Hi. Hi, Scott. How's it going, Scott? How's Did you enjoy getting fucked on your couch while your boyfriend didn't know about it in the next room? How's and then he walked in. How's your boyfriend? <laughs> Was that fun? Did you we have me? a good time? Have you ever had an STD? Please, God, yes. <laughs> from high, high school was my first, no. Undergrad was my first one. Um, and from there, I've had four. But three of them were, yeah, three were chlamydia. Four times? Okay, yeah, four, four times. times. Three were chlamydia. Yeah, I pro actually probably about the same. I've had chlamydia twice. I had gonorrhea once. I had crabs in my undergrad, my biggest fear. which I didn't even get from sex. I was in a long distance monogamous relationship. I hadn't had sex in months. 
and I got fucking crabs. I was disgusted and pissed off. How I got it, I suspect I got it from trying on clothes in like a department store. That's the only thing I could think of. I would tell you. I was living in the dorms and I had to tell my roommate. It was so embarrassing. Was he straight? Yeah. Even better. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. I may have given you crabs. He was a terrible roommate though, so whatever. I had scabies once. Called up seven ex hookups. If you have an orgy, who do you tell? We have definitely, we, by we I mean me and my husband, um, have absolutely been in like looking. piles of anonymous dudes. And certainly if you get an STD in that situation, there's no way to follow up on it. It's like, I hope everybody fucking goes to the doctor. Good luck. So I got a phone call one day from the health department. I thought it was a scam at first. They're like, oh, just so you know, we're calling from the health department. Somebody you had sex with previously had syphilis. And I was like, how did they know? What? What? So apparently, what is this? Apparently, when he, te when he tested positive, they were like, oh, can you like give us like an idea of your ex-lovers and we'll reach out to them for you. Don't ever touch a drag queen's face, even if you're best friends with them. They will, they, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. Do not touch them. Well, touch them, but on their face. Okay. Do vaccines cause autism? Yeah. As a medical professional, I will sit here and say. Ooh. She's whipping her PhD out. That's right. Yes. 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 PhD MD. DVM. DVM. <laughs> DVM. She's whipping her DVM out. Get the COVID vaccine when it comes out, you little fuckers. Virginia, uh, their vaccines are back ordered. I don't know how you back, you put them on layaway or something, but get them the vaccine. I, they said they're like, oh, we're back ordered. I'm like, well then fucking exp Amazon Prime the shit. Ah! Listen, if vaccines cause autism, which they fucking don't, why would you not want to have a kid with autism? What is wrong with you? Why would you want like, to have a kid? <laughs> if that's your stance, you're not fit to be a parent. But we're um, not Logan Stone Productions. <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have whooping cough and that I don't have, I never dealt with like rubella. You never had polio. I never had polio. That would fuck you up. So like, vaccines. There's a drag queen in New York that I used to work with called Annie Vax. <gasps> love that. That's a good name. It's a great drag name. A girl Annie I live. Vax. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family, don't tell your kids. Realty, if you book a drag queen for your charity event, give them free booze. That is the least you can do. <laughs> Answer her again. <clears throat> Oh, so she actually might have whooping cough, so this is beautiful. <laughs> Cheers. What's a health myth that you hate? What that condoms are important. That was such a joke. I'm sorry. I didn't even ah! forget that. Out. I want to call bullshit on the, what is it, a drink a gallon of water a day to make yourself feel like I have about a glass a week, and I'm doing fair. <laughs> <laughs> this whole, okay, let's talk about this health myth that carbs are bad for you. I mean, we know if you eat a loaf of white bread, it's not, you're not gonna get as much nutrients out of eating blueberries or something, you know, but everybody fucking knows that, but it's also not bad for you. Like eat the bread, you're gonna be fine. I hate to think about how much glitter I've swallowed in my drug career. Um, I, I guess it's not the worst thing I've swallowed, but. And they say um, glitter should not go anywhere uh, near or in your eye. <gasps> Boom, I'm fine. You don't have any glitter? Oh, I do. I did, yeah, I did last night. I just didn't come off. There's, oh. some, there's some remnants of it on there. Last I night, I just... Well, because they... Uh, I'm going to fucking glitter right My now. makeup Thinking shot. shot? Right. Right. Thinking shot. Hold We're on. doing some, some Jeopardy. Do, 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 do. Aww. 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 Oh, yeah. No, people, this... people trust me. I don't know why, but they do. Well, you're white. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, like, it's true. It, it hit different. Okay, okay. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's do this shot before you ask me that question. What was the one thing that, when you became an adult, you hated that you had, like, you realized you had to get rid of from your life? I'm not as flexible as I used to be, and it pisses me off. Because I used to be, like, made of rubber. I could do a split without being warmed up. I could just, like, it was not a big deal. But there are parts of my body that are not as flexible as they used to be, and it really sucks. Everyone told you it was gonna suck, and you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. But it's, like, then you're like, as soon as you get older, you're like, oh, no, they were right. They weren't lying. She <laughs> used to be able to put both her legs behind her head. Oh, I can still do that, actually. This year, I have <clears throat> finally hit the age um, where, God, I get the worst fucking hangovers in the world. And now, did drugs have a little bit to do with it? Maybe they made the hangover a little bit stronger? 
Who knows? I'm not a doctor. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, when I was 16, like, going out with, with four locos, you finish two cans of those. And four you, lo- you are from Staten Island. Now I'm responsible because of hangovers. <laughs> Me? Responsible? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, that's a relative term. The erotic language of porn from the 80s is my jam. It, in the 80s, I started shading. It was more about twunks and, like, fitness. It was all... It, health and fitness. It was all about locker rooms. Have you ever hooked up with somebody at the gym? No. The only reason I've ever considered getting a gym membership is for that reason. Like, in real, like, we're telling the truth today. What do you want to achieve? Honestly, I just... <laughs> I want to suck some anonymous dick. I want dick. to suck some anonymous dick. <laughs> have you? Um, I have not, but... Do you have a gym membership? I do. But when I moved here, you know, my workout clothes are sweatpants and a hoodie. Like a normal human being. So I thought. And then I went to uh, a gym in D.C. I definitely want, like... Uh, like a sauna that's steamy and you kind of can't see enough but then it's like when Crew you club. do see something it's like oh so Frida never finished your story oh sorry <laughs> oh, 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 oh in between reps I kept looking and I was like huh everybody's cruising at the same fu-. so the first thing that I did that moment was open up grinder. but the, of course then I went to the locker room expecting stuff and I got nothing locker rooms are the most homoerotic locker space. rooms are the the most homoerotic space. ugh god they're horrible when you're it is like it's oh, so stressful, so, so stressful. We we've all, all like, looked, we've like, all looked down. I have like so much trauma, but also so much like erotic fantasies. About That's when you do like a little side. Um, I wasn't out yet, but me and five friends went to um, like the YMCA, the pool afterwards. Took a shower, and like they were like like dicking around and be like, oh, like they like. How old were you? I was sixteen at this point. Okay. I immediately got hard, and that was my. And they like looked at me like, oh my god. I was like. <sighs> Now when we talk about it, they're like, huh, so which one of us do you get hard for? I was like, it's not a competition. It was all of you. <laughs> That's very diplomatic. And it's like, how unattractive could you be that you wouldn't suck someone's dick? The, so the moral of the story is, suck, suck all, your friends all dicks. dicks. <laughs> all dicks. All dicks. All dicks. Just suck them all. Have you ever played an organized sport? Oh, Yeah. I was never into it. My favorite thing was well, I, I would play soccer and I would always play defender because you could just like chill. If like and so I did have someone. I had Anthony on my team. He would just like keep the ball on the other end of the field the whole time. So I would just like chill and like talk to my friends and pick grass. And when I played t-ball, I always played outfield because nobody none of these little it. kids nobody can hit that. Far. None of the little kids could hit that far. So I would just like chill and pick grass. And like, look at the sky. I played baseball as uh, when I, for one year. I was in the fifth grade. Sat in the bag and picked the grass. Is that a gay thing? Like, Hang up the cleats and put on ballerina slippers. Yeah, thing get him a, a fag. Get him a bedazzler. You know, and you know what? Get him a fucking Barbie. Because I wanted a Barbie in the worst way, and I knew that I wasn't allowed to ask for it. And that boy wants a Barbie, even if he's not saying he wants it. But then I played football for five. Wow. wow. Football? That's yeah. hot though. Like From... all of my all of my sports gear fetishes are football oriented. But like we could we could like pretend you're a quarterback though, right? Like now. We could try. Put on a jock strap and some football pads and then like okay. most of the people who do OnlyFans are not as good looking as porn stars. I mean, let's just say it. Oh, we gotta see the face because the body doesn't look that good. I know, bitch. I was chubby at that point. Oh, Healthy DC gays are DC gays are mean. Health and fitness are mean. Health and fitness. Health and fitness. Health and fitness. Health and fitness. You're gonna fitness all this year. <laughs> How many wonders can one cavern hold? <laughs> Looking around here. That's a loaded question. Sure. <laughs> She's got everything. <laughs> it's the worst part. Of, it's the worst part of gay sex. The worst part of gay sex is douching. Number nine. Number nine. What do you do to support your mental health? Especially during these mm. trying times. I have found that like exercising is really good, not that I do it. <laughs> being around people, which I know is hard with COVID, but that makes me really happy. I like being around people. And doing this show. And doing this show. Mm. Mm. The, the, I think that I think mental health now has been more important than ever before. Um, if you have not gotten into drag, you should try it once or twice and help you out. No, drag is therapy. It's a pain it's, in the ass, it but makes it's therapy. You, it makes you so happy. It's so, like, 
rewarding, and you feel like you feel so beautiful. Uh, I mean, if you look like me, I've been alcohol involved maybe three times. I'm a drunk. What? Is this wrong or one? <clears throat> it's oxidants, bitch. What have you learned about your body getting older that you didn't expect? Age hurts. Ah! The next, yesterday I had a show, woke up this morning, top to everything hurt. Everything hurt. I didn't even do that much work. I walked. <laughs> just wait, girl, you're only 26. It just gets worse. When it's cold, everything hurts more. When you're like a kid, your grandpa, your kid, your like your uncles, they're telling you this shit. And they're like, everything hurts. It sucks getting old. I hate losing my hair. And you're like, oh, ho, ho, that's oh, hilarious. Oh, grandpa, you got dementia. And then once in you're that, once, once in you're that, once you're in that position, I can, I've had a lot of alcohol. But my ankle swells up and I'm like, oh, well, I guess it's gonna fucking rain. Do I want to say youth is wasted on the young? Yes. Is it a platitude? Yes. Am I gonna say it anyway? Yes. Youth is wasted on the young. She said platitude, I thought she said platypus. No, it, oh, she can't handle SAT words. Sorry about it. Yeah, Bonus the, round! Ba -ba 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 the few opinion on plastic <gasps> surgery. I, I have no problem with plastic surgery. I would, I would do it. it. What's so crazy, to, it's so crazy to me that people like get really judgmental about it when I'm like, you wear makeup. We're all trying to alter the way that we look in order to look more like our ideal. Bitch, we are going to get injected. So when you see me, one episode where I can't move the top half of the face, you know why? You're putting poison in your body. I'm like, baby, you don't know Have you had alcohol half before? of it. <laughs> Moisturize and get a good night's sleep. You no, know, you get a good night's sleep with or without someone. Who knows? Yeah. Take care of me. Did that knock you out? Drink the juice as a reference? You didn't even know? No, I didn't know this was a thing. Mm. I thought you were creative. No! I'm not. Drink the juice, Shelby. Drink the juice, oh, Shelby. Oh my god. You have questions for me though, right? Because I legit only had six. No, I mean, yeah, legitimately just like, but like, I legit was so sore after the first day. Like, like legit. She which is, is like, currently uh, just wearing she uh, seashells and, and that's, that's it. It's legit. Seashells. I just, I legit, I was just like, how the fuck did this even happen? I if mean, you legit. Even, if you even, I have legit's my word tonight. Ugh, I hate it. I sound like such a bro. Public and people think we're like legit fighting. <laughs> no, but like legit, like target. Legit. Why am I saying? That. You're like legitimately <laughs> and like legitimately I like you you could legitimately have like I love doing a glitter lip. Legit, oh another like, health I myth. Do, another legit, health I almost said legit. When, I have legitimately had see how I sidestep that legit? <laughs> legit. I was like, like I do. I almost said legit. <laughs> legit, I'm done. Oh legit. we got a legit